No, no trouble. Everything is, everything's good. Um, I do, uh, uh, but, well, my girlfriend, um, it's, uh, I guess I just, I just need to get this off my, I do have, I'm having problems. You know, she's the one that's barely out of her teens. A few years. Several. But but it's me? I'm the one with the problems? With the disorder? Of a fucking teenager? Relentless libido. I can assure you I am iridescent in virility. But outside of that or in, in conjunction with that, it's pretty much constant anxiety. And the only time I'm fucking free of these uh, jealous machinations or fear of her leaving me is when we are literally in the act of fuck. Even vaginal. She's in med school, going to be a proctologist. But anyway, as soon as I detonate catastrophically or implode or explode, or sometimes I don't even ejaculate or, or I do. And it's internal. So it's like I'm coming inside myself. But as soon as that happens, I'm right back to worrying, right back to despair and shrinkage, right back to being frantic and hysterical, but simultaneously drained of all my energy, drained of all my zinc, but too nervous to do anything, but wait and wonder if she still loves my body. And the result is some type of inertia that can't be translated into something productive or are cosmically significant like working out. Maybe calf raises at the absolute most. I know women love a kind of indifference or a woman will want a man to be obsessed with her, but she's in love with the wanting because you have to want to desire to be in love. But if you have everything, how can you be in love with it? No, no trouble. Everything's good. I do, uh, well, my girlfriend, it's, uh, I guess I just, I just need to get this off my, uh, uh, I do have, I'm having problems, you know, she's the one that's barely out of her teens, a few years, like, Several, don't look at me like that. But but it's me, me who has the problems, the disorder of a fucking teenager. <laughs> Restless libido. I can assure you I am downright iridescent in virility. But other than that, or in conjunction to that, it's pretty much constant anxiety. And it seems the only time I can fucking free myself with these jealous machinations or fear of her leaving me is when we are literally in the act of fuck. Even vaginal. She's in med school, going to school to be a proctologist. Um, but anyway, as soon as I detonate catastrophically, uh, explode or implode, or sometimes I don't even ejaculate, or, or I do, but it's internally it feels like i'm coming inside of myself but then i'm right back to worrying right back to despair and shrink it's hysterical and frantic but simultaneously drained of all my energy drained of all my zinc too nervous to do anything but wait and wonder if she still loves my body and the inertia is some kind of thing that can't be translated into something productive or cosmically significant like working out maybe calf raises at the absolute most and I know women love a kind of indifference or a woman will want a man to be obsessed with her, but she's in love with the wanting because you have to want to desire to be in love but if you have everything how can you be in love with it and we're here with Derek Fox, actor, model, and our favorite Holyoke High School teacher. Welcome to the show.